Greetings! It's good to be with you again for this lesson on liturgy here at Christ Lutheran Church in Georgetown. Each week we talk about another idea that we want to focus on in our liturgy, Sunday morning worship liturgy. There's a phrase that we hear whenever we gather around the font for the Thanksgiving for baptism. It's being clothed in Christ's mercy and forgiveness. So let's dig a little deeper where that comes from. So when a child is drawn up out of the waters of baptism, whether they're wearing clothes or not, we symbolically put on a new garment on this child to represent that being clothed in Christ's mercy and forgiveness, putting on Christ as they enter into this community of the body of Christ. And that imagery doesn't stop just with the baptismal gown. You'll notice each week that a worship leader might be wearing an awl, like this one, or they might be wearing an acolyte robe. And it really doesn't matter what color that is. It might be white or wheat or black. But that symbol of being clothed in Christ is pervasive across our liturgy, but we might not even notice it. But the symbol doesn't stop there. The baptismal service or liturgy begins when a child or adult is baptized, and it continues not through just the hour of that Sunday morning liturgy, but it keeps going throughout that person's life. So the baptismal service begins, and then it lives out in their life, both in this worship building, but out in the world. And then the baptismal service culminates with the promises of baptism at the funeral liturgy. And so once again, we see the baptismal garment, the pall that is placed over the casket or placed over an urn, that Paul reminds us once again of being clothed in Christ's mercy and forgiveness. The other exciting thing about baptism is we are drawn up out of these waters and infused with the promise of God and the hope of God to live out our life in community with the unique gifts that God gives to each of us. This community is not the same without you and your unique gifts. God has created all of this community to fit together and work together just right. There is a place in this uh, worship building and worship time and liturgy for everyone, whether you are a singer or a reader or you would like to light the candles There is an all, just the right size for each of you. And there is a task in our worship liturgy, just the right fit for everyone. I invite you to consider as we approach the end of this church year, in the beginning of a new church year with Advent approaching, uh, what new ways you might encounter worship this year, what new ministry opportunities you're being called to, Perhaps you're going to try something new this year. And then let's begin to explore together how we can see you in one of these soon. We'll see you soon. Take care.